Kelsey. Kelsey versus the Athletic. Um, JB, just in general, what stood out tonight, especially defensively and just this, in this one? Uh, I thought we did a great job of executing a game plan. Um, you know, everything that we tried to get done, I thought we really got it done tonight. I thought we focused on it. Um, you know, tried to make it as difficult on them as we could. Um, you know, frustrate them with our effort, and I thought we were able to accomplish that tonight. How have you seen um, Evan take on the challenge of some bigger centers, especially with Jared out? But um, just, especially in the last year, just the way that he's handled that this year so far. Uh, I mean, you know, it's it's growth for sure. Um, you know, I think if you think back to last year, you know, what he did when he played at that spot, I think he was really good then. I think he's a really good basketball player, no matter what position you put him at. Um, you know, but he's a competitor. And I think sometimes, you know, his calm demeanor can fool us. Um, but I don't know anybody who has the fire that burns, you know, hotter than his when it comes to competition. Um, and he's not afraid. You know what I mean? Like, he's willing to take any challenge that we put in front of him. Um, you know, Embiid is, you know, MVP caliber, you know, one of the best centers in the game. Um, and Evan went out and accepted the challenge. And with all that Karras has gone through this for this quarter of the season, changing roles and the injury and everything, what did you see specifically tonight and just kind of the comfortability factor, especially for him? Uh, the ball went in the basket, you know, and I think that gave him confidence. Um, you know, but again, I've been watching him work and you see, you know, the energy he puts into it. We know what he's capable of, right? And then it's on us to put him in positions to be successful. It's just on his teammates to get him the ball uh, in those positions, um, get him as comfortable as we can. And, you know, we, he's capable uh, of doing these things. Spencer, Spencer basketballnews.com. How much of the game plan that you were just talking about had to do with rebound and push? I feel like you guys were really beating them down the floor tonight a lot. Um, I mean, we know how good they are defensively. Um, we know how hard it is to score. You know, when you allow uh, Embiid to set himself in the paint. Um, so we were trying our best to get down the floor before he was there. Um, and that gives us the thrust. It gives us the force that we need. Um, because, I, you know, they will make it extremely difficult if this becomes, you know, a half-court basketball game um, because they are that good offensively. So we were just trying to take advantage uh, where we saw one. And the same thing that Kelsey asked about. Uh, Karis, I kind of want to ask you about Isaac, because it seems like when those guys see the ball go in, easy buckets, down transition, whatever, it gets them going in a good place um, offensively. So what did you see from him on that end of the floor? And I mean, his effort tonight was tremendous. So. Yeah, I mean, same thing. It's, you know, we have very good basketball players and extremely talented guys. Um, all of them at some point in time are going to hit a bump in the road. You know, it's whether or not uh, the team and coaching staff and you know front office continue to show belief in guys um, and we believe in our guys and you know through their ups and downs we're going to give them opportunity as long as they continue to work and do other things that can impact the game um, you know and I think again at some point in time it turns for all of our guys because they work extremely hard at it. Danny, Danny Cunningham, ESP Including. JB, you've mentioned before about Evan in practice, like how much he really has in his arsenal that we don't always get to see in the games. And then you see these stretches like tonight where he just kind of took over the game for a little bit. As a coach, how exciting is it to see those things translate to the game action? Uh, I mean, that's, you know, it's what coaching is, right? It's teaching in order to see people grow and improve and get better. Um, you know, and I, the sky's the limit for Evan. You know, I think we've said that multiple times, but um, there's not a lot on the floor that he is not capable of. And, you know, the more and more you watch him, and I think we've seen it, like he's been so much more assertive. Um, and, you know, he's been hunting opportunities. And, you know, like when you allow his skill set with the hunter's mentality, um, you know, he's going to be hard to deal with. What did you think of Mamadi in the starting lineup tonight? I thought it was, I thought it was awesome to be honest with you. Like, you know, he was a big part of what our game plan was defensively, um, and I think he went out there and he executed it to a T, and was a huge part of the reason why we were able to play the defense that we did tonight. Chris, Chris Fedor, Cleveland Hot Kelly. Hey, JB. What's up, Chris? What does it take to neutralize a player like Joe B the way that you guys did tonight? Um, five guys, you know, and then five more coming off the bench. Um, you know, guys that are just committed to, um, you know, giving everything that they have and sacrificing, you know, their man maybe scoring a couple times because we know we've got to do the job to take him away. 
Um, you know, a lot of times, and we don't talk about this, but guys can be selfish defensively as well, right? They don't want their guy to score. Uh, but I think it's a, you know, it's a five-man job with the right mentality of, you know, what are we trying to take away? Um, how are we going to do it? And then how do we go out and execute it? We talked to Karis this morning, and we talked to you pregame about Karis. Was there more of a concerted effort tonight to get the ball in his hands in opportunities? Yeah, I mean, in that role, I think you have to, right? If he's going to be coming off the bench, um, I think you have to find uh, opportunities for him. And it wasn't just from us. Um, you know, Donovan and Darius both recognized it. And, you know, we had conversations during the game, and they were calling plays to get him the ball. Uh, so that's something I think that, you know, again, that's part of this group's nature but understanding how impactful Karis can be for us and what he's capable of and you know how he can make their jobs easier. Um, but I think they did a great job of, of finding him and then you know his confidence was growing and he was able to uh, have a huge impact for us. Thank you. John. John Rutter, uh, Sports Illustrated Media Group. Um, kind of piggybacking off of Danny's question with Evan kind of attempting some more threes here in the last couple of games. Um, prior to the season, he said that you're going to see me in different spots on the floor. Is that something that he's kind of working to his own game, or is that something that you guys are trying to encourage out of him as coaches? Uh, I mean, we want Evan to take all the shots. Um, there's not a spot on the floor where we don't feel comfortable with him with the ball in his hands and the shot that he can create and take. Um, we don't want him to be put in a box and be, um, you know, short dimensions on his game. Like, we want him to flourish uh, because we believe that's what he's capable of. So, you know, those different spots you'll see, um, you know, those are conversations we have with him. That's time we spend with him, working with him. Um, that's him putting in the time on his own and, you know, wanting to be the player that we believe he's capable of being. And then just the three defensive three-second violations in the first half, is that – Unique, or is that just something maybe a product of paying attention to the paint? Um, I mean, it was we wanted to be aggressive to shade towards him, and you know, um, we could do a better job of cleansing and moving ourselves. But you know, tonight with a guy like that, you err on the side of taking away the paint. I thought we did a good job of it. Last two, Evan and Dan Chris. Evan Damar, right down you. Well, JB, I've asked you about this several times, but you've said you've been waiting to see your guys play a complete game. Would you consider tonight a little bit of a step closer, at least, to playing more of a complete game? Step closer. We still had our moments. <laughs> but, no, I thought they did. I, I, you know, I, I thought they really did tonight play you know, both ends of the floor and execute what we were trying to do um, for the majority of the game. So I think this was you know, one of those games that we can look back on um, and reflect as that's the job that we're looking for in the game we're looking for. And you had mentioned prior to the season that you don't want Isaac playing in a box offensively and not within the flow of the offense. Is tonight a good example of him just playing within the flow of things and just feeling a lot more comfortable wherever he's getting his shots at? Yeah, and it's like, you know, he can play at a speed and a force, right? And we got to do the job of getting him the ball uh, early so that he can run, he can attack, you know, he can cut, he can attack closeouts. Uh, and then when he's open, he's got to take his shots. Um, and, you know, we know what he's capable of. Uh, again, it's it's a lot of trust in that locker room from his teammates. And, you know, if you don't give him the opportunity and don't have the trust and belief, guys don't succeed. So we're trying our best to give him that because we know what he's capable of. Last one, Chris. Do you enjoy defensive three-second violations as much as the players seem to? <laughs> <laughs> There's incentive behind it, yeah. And then, no, it, it's one of those things where, you know, you go back and you look at the history of time and the teams and how many, you know, defensive three seconds teams get uh, versus how many they take away, how many baskets they take away. Um, so I've been for two years now, you know, telling guys that we would like to see more of them. Um, but, you know, tonight we exaggerated and we got a few. All right, wrap it up. All right thank you guys.